I've got so much to show you guys. So first of all, let me just plug this thing in. This has all come about because of me. I got a little message come up on Instagram saying like, oh, have you seen this pancake maker? I don't even eat pancakes. Not, not American ones anyway. I eat like crepe ones, what we have in the UK um, with Nutella and strawberries, but that's another story. Um, but yeah, for some reason, well, I suppose because it was coming up to pancake day. So, you know, what the old um, things are like, the algorithms, so they throw it out there. Um, Anyway, so I, I got it because whatever I do in life, I go shopping, I'm in the supermarkets, I look at colours together and I think, oh, that's nice. Um, I could try that with that. And yeah, and I see things and my brain just starts going. It's probably why I don't sleep very well. Um, anyway, I just thought to myself, it is so cute that I had to have it and see if it would work. So I took a chance absolutely took a chance on it and I'm really pleased to say that it's worked. One thing I will say to start with, I I was cutting circles to go inside this just freehand and then I saw that I had me frame lit dies. So that one just worked out or that one, yeah it was that one, the biggest one, just worked out perfect. So I just got loads and loads of baking paper in the States, you guys call it parchment paper. Um, and yeah, it's just perfect for it. I want to put this down on pretty much everything I do on this, mainly because I want to protect it. It's like a Teflon base, isn't it? So I want to protect it. Um, but I did do a couple of little experiments. There's some things I haven't tried. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. But one thing I was really curious with is I wanted to try different substrates in this and see what would happen. So I tried a piece of canvas. These are just little, little tiny canvases, but they're quite thick. So first of all, I'm thinking, hmm, is it, is it thick enough? Like, is it too thick? I know it goes through the wood. Where's my little wooden hearts? So it goes through that and it's probably a similar thickness, but things are all to do with density isn't it um anyway i tried it and i wanted to try it with the pastel pearls so i popped it on it took a while to heat but obviously this is hot this side as well so putting the lid down it helps melt it but because i used the pastel pearls on it i colored it in a, a black pigment ink first of all but if you, I don't know if you can, it's like a, you remember the little puffy, it's, it's actually lifting off. It's not lifting off around the edges, but it's, it's like, it's like I could have put a squeaky toy in there. <laughs> I'll try that. But it's, it's literally just puffing off sort of thing. It's really weird, but I've got a really good result with it. So I was wondering if I'd done it, with, um, I won't do the pearls this time. So that was why I put the black, in. I, I'm gonna waffle. I'm really sorry guys, because my head goes from one thing to another. So you can all sort of say on there, shut up Mary and say that again or whatever. Um, but when, it's, when it goes on there on black, then that's when these guys show their true colors and they're beautiful. But I also cheekily added in some shimmer powder. I wanted to see what that would look like. And I just, well, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Look at the effect. It's beautiful. So what I'm thinking, if I do it just in plain, and let's, let's go some of these delicate blooms by Alex Siberia. Now everything, well, not everything actually, I wasn't that clever. Um, but most things that I'm using, if you do want to treat yourself, there's links in the description. Um, of the video. Um, I'd appreciate it if you click the link if you did buy through that because if you haven't got, um, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how it works, but basically if you click the link and it takes you through, then um, I get some pennies and that helps me pay for all this. So I really appreciate that. But also one thing to say is if you click my links and you go through to the WOW websites, so wowembossingpowder.co.uk 
or wowembossingpowder.com, then you can put in a code WOWDT, Donald Trump, sorry, <laughs> M-E, Marion Emerson, um, and then that will give you a 10% discount on everything you buy on the WOW website. Okay, let's stick that on. Not included shipping. Right, so I'm going to put that in there. So I've, I'm, all I'm trying to do by putting the ink on there, I'm seeing if that's going to hold the powder anymore. But I'm just wondering if it's where this is loose on there and it just makes it come off. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to try. Okay, let's just add a little, let's just be brave, Marion, be brave. It's what you like to do. Just add a little bit of black. Okay, where I've gone the light one, because if it's opaque, let me just explain something. If a powder is has got an O on there, that means it's opaque. Generally, this is generally, that means it's been made on a white base. So OM means that one is definitely marbling. It's been made on a white base. So as it melts, the color comes off and moves and then the white comes through. If it's T, it's translucent. So that's been made on a clear base. That's your differences. And that makes a difference when you're um, embossing on, say like, wood on black card on white card you'll get something different each time Jeez. look at that oh it looks a bit um i do like to say diseased so let's just have a little go so i'm gonna put my cocktail stick I, oh i've just broke it <laughs> a little bit hard i just grabbed my cocktail stick again my half a cocktail stick i can't remember what you call them oh toothpicks you call them toothpicks in the states don't you so let's just Get a little bit of swirling going on. And do, do, do. I might have messed it up completely now. But you won't know until the end. So I'm just going to hmm, put that down and let that just melt a little bit more. Oh, see, look, that is just, it looks like a piece of abstract art, if I say so myself. Right, let's just have a little look. You never want to overdo it. I'm going to lift it off. Pop that down there. Get that bit of wood out of the way. Don't any fires. Okay, I'll let that just cool down a little. That just looks amazing. Look at that. Let me come up to the cam. Oh, hang on, I can't see what you're seeing. Hang on, sorry, teasing you then. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, hang on, I'm not in macro. Come back down, Marion. It does, it just looks like a piece of abstract art, doesn't it? It's fabulous, absolutely fabulous, if I say so myself. Can you die cut it after it cools? You, ah, oh, right, okay, thank you, Ziggy Shrugged, or Creations by Ziggy Shrugged. Um, yes, you can, obviously not on a canvas. Um, so let me do a piece for you on that, and then I will die cut it and show you. So just get that on there. Let's do, let's pick up a bit of, we'll have a bit of blue tang. So again, someone said to me, oh, you use so much powder. Honestly, guys, I'm really not using a lot. You get, these pots look little. You get so much in these pots. You really do. Glassy ocean. So I'm just glassy ocean. And I'm just filling in areas. Come around here. I'm going to do a little, I've got me Tim Holtz, um, what do you call it, it's with me. Um, oh, think about it, Mary, think about it. What have I got, what have I got? Um, oh, let's try that. This is the sea turtle. Now, this is opaque marbling. So, uh, and I did try, I don't know if you saw in the video, but I did try um, some, what do you call it, you know the... Um, non-stick craft sheets i cut a bit of that up and done it on that worked perfect i'm going to stick a little bit more of that blue tang on there just get that in there 
It's beautiful, isn't it, blue tone? It is absolutely stunning. Right, so, close the lid on that. Oh, look at that. Right, I've got a few holy holes, so I want to fill those in. Look at that. That is amazing. What should I put? Should I put a bit more glassy ocean in? Because I sort of lost a bit of that. Let's fill those holes in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, me. Oh, my. Okay. Put the lid down. And people will have seen that I, I've done this on other videos. I've been doing this technique for years and years. I love it. But I just wanted to find other ways to do it. So, you know, I came up with doing it with the iron, um, like pouncing. I think one of the original pouncing ones was it through the, you know, two sheets of the baking paper. Um, that's brilliant. But this is, it's a lot less messy when you pounce, bits fly out. So we get this and then I'll bring it up to the camera because that looks pretty good. So if I hold it, can you see that? There you go, Sandy. Yeah, so I want this to set now. It won't take long. You just, well, it'll take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> that was still important. <laughs> okay, I want that to just sit there and, and set and then I'm going to die cut it. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Right. I've just got to get this in the right place and see if I can... Mm. I might have lost a bit there. I pro do you know what? Do a smaller heart, Marion. Why do you stress yourself out? I haven't done a big enough piece for the size of that heart. Honestly. Let me just... Yeah, look. Here we go. Here we go. At least I can fit that on now. Right. It is a pancake maker. How cool is that? Right, so let's just go like that. You know it's going to move again in a minute, didn't you? Let's go like that. And then we'll run it through. Okay, let's just take this off. And then pop that out. Peel this bit off because we don't want that on there. This is just the parchment paper, remember? Yeah. Come on, girl. There we go. And there you've got that beautiful... Oh, I was doing it all out of shot, sorry. <laughs> I've got to keep looking at the um, screen. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I just put them on a little card. Um, and if you saw... The other card, I should have bought them down actually. This one I've just split because I'm numpty. But you could actually glue that onto your card like that. Do you remember the card I done? I had love you written in there. And then I had one with love you on there. So you get two for one. You could do, this would glue together once you stuck it down. So I got me a bit of wood out, didn't I? Me heart. Right. So I have got some little wax doodars, you know, for your stamping. So let me go, let me try. Right, I'm gonna get this ready because this is just a little um, snowflake one. I think I got this um, when I was out in the States with Donna. I'm sure I got it in Michael's or somewhere like that. Um, but anyway, but look at the colour handle, isn't it beautiful? So, let me just say, I think this is going to take a little bit longer. All I'm doing, when I'm running this into my um, ink pad, is it's just giving me a coating of ink on my stick so it doesn't stick to it all. So let's just have a little look. So I wonder if I could just, oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, just hold that there a minute. I just want to keep it. I'm just going to do it a little bit. Spread it about, but give it a little swirl at the same time. Well, you get little air bubbles in it. Well, that's okay. 
That's okay. Look, look, look. So I don't know about you guys. I've got loads of wax melts because I bought loads. Um, and I, I have used a few, but I, I haven't used them like I thought I would use them. Oh, that just looks yummy. Doesn't it? Doesn't that look lovely? Right, let's just put that there. I just want to see. It's just a little snowflake. Let's just have a look. Because I did get asked this. Will a wax seal work in it? So I probably haven't got it in the centre because I'm not very good at centering things. I might have needed it to be a bit hotter as well. So it is easier than making iced cookies. And you know what? There's no calories in them. Might break your teeth, but... <laughs> okay, let's move this out of the way. Oh, look at that. Seriously, guys, if you could applaud me right now, what do you reckon? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Right, button. I don't know what this is going to come out like. It might melt. I don't know. Um, but we shall give it a go. So what have I got? What haven't I used? Um, metallic gold rich regular. Let's just put... Right, let me just... Throw a little bit of this on. The reason is I just wanted to do it thicker and just see what it went like. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Da, da, da. Oh, Sue Jones. I just want to say when I bought this, it was $13.99 or was it $12.99? I can't remember now. Um, and when I went back and looked, it had gone up to $14.99. They're cheeky. Absolutely cheeky, aren't they? But, you know, so yeah, keep quiet about it. Right, I remember those black pans that were plug-in that melted the embossing powder. Oh yeah, it was, um, it was the, um, I've got two of them up in my studio. Melt pots, that's it. Oh, I didn't read the rest of your thing. Um, it is because you're not using, well, the melt pot really was for pouring the powder into the base of it and then, because it had a pouring spout, and then you could lift it and pour it. This, you wouldn't do that with it. Right, I don't know if you can tell, but how thick and beautiful that is. If I'd done that with the ink pad and embossing powder, then I would have to be doing, I don't know, I reckon four coats with that. And that's just a regular powder. It's not ultra high or anything, it's just regular. That looks gorgeous. I love that. Perfect. Right, I'm going to sit that there a minute. Let me just grab this. Right, okay. So, my coming plan just now was if I sit a little, um, my little do 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 sticks on, come here, you. And then place my leaf on then I should because it should melt it from the top as well so I am going to use a little bit of this this one is called Chinese lantern and it's like a, a beautiful orange and I believe it's got gold in there as well now, okay, this is going to be really random. I don't know that I'd ever put orange and green together. This is Be Kind and it's a sparkly one. So let me just... So this this way you are losing a little bit more because obviously it's dropping through the holes. But I'm still only using a teeny tiny amount. I really am. Okay, let's just put that down. So then, and yes, I can reuse that powder that's just dropped through. Oh, look. Right, I need to get under there so I can... Now, bear in mind, it's metal. It conducts heat. It's going to be very, very hot. But look, I feel like I'm coming up too close and me, me macro isn't on. I don't know if you can see that, but it is gorgeous. If I come down a little bit, 
That is beautiful. It really, do you know, <laughs> I'm so impatient, I want to touch it. And it's like, my logic is saying, don't touch it, it's going to be hot. No, it's all right, it's all right. Now, I wonder if I add, oh, I can hear something crackling. I hope it's not me thing giving up the ghost. I wonder if I can, oh, do you know what? It's gonna be really hard, isn't it? To get little bits of white on here. This is white ultra high. One of my all time favorite powders. I know that might sound really boring, but I just love white ultra high. Mm, I've got a little bit of white on there, but not a lot. Yeah, not a lot, but that, that's really, really pretty. Okay, so. I, I can use that. I can take these little bits off. I can let this set and then I can break it onto another piece. I could. Um, I won't do it because there's other stuff I want to show you. Uh, oh, my goodness. OK, right. So are you ready for this? OK, OK. Right. This. <sighs> OK, so this set is probably one of my oldest Altenu sets. Beautiful day. I think they still do it now. Um, it's, I don't know, they do loads of layering sets. And what I did was, I because I got the dies as well, so I die cut. Are you ready for this? Who remembers, where is it? Who remembers shrink plastic? Yeah. I used to use so much shrink plastic. I used to love it. We used to make little um, little um, jet like pendants to go on our bracelets and little necklaces. Um, yeah, and it's just so much fun, it really is. So, but as we know, shrink plastic, usually when I do it, I would pop this in a mug and then I heat in there and then it all starts going blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, so I used, and I wrote it down, mint to be on the bottom, then the next layer was scallop. These are Catherine Paula colours, you know I love Catherine Paula inks. Then Bay Breeze, then Daydream. Now, let me put a bit of this on. What I don't want it to do is curl up, which it will. I don't know whether the heat is enough for it to work like that. I feel like I've got to put my lid down. But is it going to um, curl up at the top and then get stuck? I hope not. I really hope not. So what that's doing, I also went in and I cut some leaves from my favourite leaf mix die set. They do a tropical mix as well of leaves. Just gorgeous. Um, and then, oh look, I've got these little butterflies cut out as well. Um, let me just put that there. And I punched holes in them first. So I just blended them with some of Catherine's inks, hot tub, aquatini, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, we'll see what they go like. They can be earring, e earrings, earrings. I could be like Pat Butcher. Um, right, what's this doing? Oh my God. Okay, that's a <laughs> little, bit of, little bit of steam. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, get rid of that. Get off you. Let me just bring this up. Look at that little baby. Now, always remember the the inks will get more intense. The colours go more intense as you shrink down. Now, this could be a little pin brooch, um, but that is just gorgeous. So when you look at shrink plastic, if you look at how thin it is that it starts with, oh, am I in the way of the camera? And then look how thick it goes, because obviously it shrinks down. So I'm just going to do one at a time on my earrings, right? <laughs> so Kathleen Paula's inks are dye-based inks, so they have worked an absolute treat. I done this on the um, on the Sizzix shrink plastic. It's shiny on one side and sort of frosted on the other side. That was where I stamped the um, stamped the stamps, done the ink. But is yeah, absolutely. Who's just said that, Kim? Isn't that so much easier? So much easier. And it just looks gorgeous. Oh, oh. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, that is just adorable. And I've got my little hole there. Let's do the next one. So look, can you see the difference in the colours? I don't know if you care, it's not on white, is it? But they're just more intense because they've been shrunk down. You probably, you can't tell on there, I don't think. I can, but I don't know that you can see it. So, a little tip, when I done this, I just took the stamps, but instead of stamping it on, because I'd already die cut it, I actually pushed it down into the stamp. I'd done that on all four of them, it was so much easier, so much easier. So yeah, so that's your shrink plastic. So I needed to show you that because I was so excited. With that just looks adorable. Even that on a card. Oh, look, is that shrunk enough? I'll just make sure. Because what happens with shrink plastic as well, it finds its own flatness. It sort of levels out. So, oh, the shrink. And, and you can get shrink plastic in metallics, in black, in white, in clear frosted it's just it's like let's bring back shrink plastic i found it in my drawer while i was going through oh i think that one oh is that the same size i reckon that might need a little bit more a little bit more shrinking let's have a little look right the other thing i wanted to show you because this was something i got asked if um if this will work um Oh, do you know what, Paula? That, that's exactly what I do. I just love experimenting. And, and as I say, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It's no biggie. I don't beat myself up about it. Loads of things go wrong, by the way. You, you've seen all my videos where loads of things go wrong. Um, but I don't get precious about it. Let's just get that off of there. Okay, so... I was asked if... So this is a, um, look, I'm, I'm boasting the Catherine Paula here. Um, what are they called? They're hot foil plates, joyful, I've used them on other things, joyful thanks, hot foil plates and dies. So I have got, now do I want to, I'll put it on there and I want that to get hot. Now I need to move stuff out of the way so Bear with. Um, right, tab one, I've opened it too. I've got five pieces of WoW cardstock I've just stuck together. Um, I found that this worked best. Obviously, if you're doing it, give it a try with one of your, you know, your own little things, because different. even the same machine can have a different sandwich. Um, right, what, what am I doing, what am I doing? Right, so I need now, I'm just aware of time, not because of me, I could sit here all night. I'm just worried about this being on all this time. Um, so let me just take this. So this is big thanks. And then I'm gonna lay my foil and then I'm gonna pop my card on. Oh, and then my doodah. And I wanted to try, oh, come on, you, go through, come on. Oh, I might have messed it up now. Um, I wanted to try this because not everyone's got one of these foiling machines. So I just wanted to see. Oh, I missed a little bit. That's probably because I took it off and done it again. But look, I did do it earlier. Here's one I made earlier. That's how I knew to do this thing. And it works beautiful. That didn't. <laughs> That's nothing to do with the foil or the dye. I think that was where I shifted it. And then it also it cooled as well because you need to do it while it's hot. And then I also done it in a black as well. Look, just lovely, just lovely. So you can use, obviously, because this is small, you can't do, you know, a great big cover plate. Um, it does work, look, I promise, I promise. It always goes wrong on camera, you know that. It wouldn't be a Marion video without something going wrong, would it? Um, but anyway, so that was that. What else did I wanna show you? 
So I've done button, I've done shrink plastic, we've die cut it, we've used it on metal. Oh, I didn't show you that. Oh, do you know what? This is just normal. This is just, um, oh, it's, it's just the wooden heart. Um, let me just bring this round, hang on. Right, but if you've got chipboard and you use a translucent powder, yeah, with a T next to it, that colour, um, thank you, Cheryl, that colour will show through, through the translucent, yeah? It's only if it's opaque, it doesn't. But you can always, and this is what I use this most of the time for, I use this just to colour white onto my chipboard or wooden pieces and then I can use translucence on there. Um, so I always have like a little pot of these things. I've got some little Christmas ornaments there. I've got hearts and butterflies. I just like to play. Oh, you wanted to see me do a, um, oh, a doodle, didn't you? Hang on, where's me? You want it, what did you want to see? Um, did it, dear? Um, someone wanted to see me doing it just on normal. Did you just want to see no, the normal powder melted on cardstock? I'll just wait and see what someone says. I love these dies. These are Catherine Paula's one of, oh no, they're not one of a kind dies. I've put them in the wrong packaging. Oh, are they? Oh, they are one of a kind. Because those are Christmas snowflake ones. Um, let me just... Great, now I need a mini pack of makeup. Yeah, but look, I'm not in any mess. I've got a little tiny bit there. But it's just... Oh. Right, let's just do that. Um, because I can't remember what someone said. I'm going to do my dappled pearl effects. Um... Oh, look, this is a chunky monkey. Let me just pull that out. Um, if I pour it on thick and then it starts curling up, I think it will just curl up on itself. So let me use my, my brain here. Um, I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I am going to do just that. I'm going to put the... Can you see? Sorry, I'm out of shot, and I? I'm going to put the butterfly in the pad right this is shrink plastic okay so i've just pushed it in there so i'm not going to get it really thick or anything let me just actually if i just use i'll just use that and then where we go whatever oh, we've used chinese lantern haven't we? we've used glassy ocean um pink robin i do love pink robin oh look you all loved blue tang didn't you in the beginning so let me, oh look, you're all saying where you're from, how eh? wonderful. Okay. Now let me just, what I used to do with this is before I shrunk it, I would stamp with um, stays on um, ink and stamp a pattern on there. And then that used to look absolutely beautiful. It really did. But, I haven't got any stamps with me. I'd said to Donna earlier, I'm really organised. I've got it all sorted out. <laughs> I wasn't. Right, okay. Come on in, you. Well, this is a good test as to how long this lasts on for. So it's been on for an hour and a half. Oh, do you know what? Oh, look, 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 look. Let's just... Let's give it a little disease. See what happens. Okay. Oh, look, seriously. Look, look, look. I need to get it on there so it's not going to fall. How cute is that? And because blue tang, if I'm correct, yep, yeah, that's a translucent, it looks like a piece of glass. Is it cool enough yet? No, it's still a bit warm. See, I'm so impatient. <laughs> Honestly, that is so gorgeous. From the side, you can see it's like glassy. 
I don't know if you can see it like that. Can, oh, can you just see it? If I turn it a little bit more. Isn't it lovely? Right, let's just do button. And I'm just gonna, if I had it in a jar, it would be easier, but obviously I didn't have a spare jar. I think the answer is going to be a resounding, oh, look, there's loads on there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably far too much. Look at that. Oh, I need to get that off. Get off you. Um, get off because that's gonna go on my on my little plate. Come here, look. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Something had to go wrong, didn't it? <laughs> Oh, that just means I've got it on the bottom of it now. That's okay. And look, where it's got, look, it's gone in the holes. So, all I've got to do there is, she says, get a little pokey and just, while it's still molten, just poke it through. Okay, so one thing not to do, guys. <laughs> While I went off talking, is that not the like button, okay? <laughs> I just gave myself some hearts. <laughs> um, I stuck this in to push the thing through and now it's got stuck. So I might be able to get it out, I don't know. Oh, look, I could probably push it through. Oh, I can push it through that way. But yeah, bear that in mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, you could bend this, crack it, you can put it in the freezer and crack it and then go over it with some black ink and then the black ink will go in the lines and that looks really cool. Yeah, oh yeah, look, Sue, she's just said it, cracked. I've just seen what Sue said. Yep, so we've both said it now, so that means it's real, yeah. Freezer is perfect for that. Um, this was beautiful on the metal. I'm glad I used my little sticks to hold it off because I feel like it would have just become a big mess under there, I really do. Um, this was the little die cut we done. That just looks stunning. Then oh, this, the shrink plastic. I mean, seriously, look at that. And look at that. So that's it just, this is just Catherine Pauler inks. And then that's it with the blue tang embossing powder on there. One thing I meant to say is while this is warm still, you can, if you're careful, you can lift the wings up. So you can get this bit hot and then you can lift the wings because it's quite pliable when it's warm. So you can sort of play around with that. That button is just stunning. I do need to try and see. Me, me faux biscuit, me faux cookie is just lovely. Oh, love that. Self-love, it is important, isn't it? <laughs> give it to myself you know <laughs> um what else did i do oh these da, da, da. the thanks the the um using the doodah oh the hot foil plate in there with your foils um the wax melt oh that was the wax melts this is just i, I don't know what's my favorite actually i really don't i'm like I, I think I absolutely adore this. I really, really do. 